And of course, perhaps the hardest place hit in this storm, Bertie County. At least 11 people killed. Take a look at these pictures from Bertie County. Chopper 10 shows you just how bad the destruction is. Small towns like Coleraine and Windsor will be cleaning up for months to come. Fox 40, uh, 10 on your side, Jason Marks continues our live team coverage tonight. Jason, you saw an entire neighborhood wiped out. And Jason, after all this time today, how are they dealing with this disaster? Well, Tom, they're keeping their faith. Today in Bertie County was not only the day to look at the damage, but the start of the cleanup process. The end of that damage path here in Coleraine, the beginning about 25 minutes away. We're in this small mobile home park in Askeville. It's just messed up, man. Mother Nature. Can't do nothing about that. Where the twister first touched down. It ended up causing an eight-mile path of devastation. When I heard there was tornadoes coming toward the town, I kind of expected this when I got here. Not surprised by what was damaged, but Ted Brown was surprised by what wasn't. My wife had left the dog here in the house, so I was expecting to see like bits of dog everywhere. <laughs> and when I got back, I saw the dog sitting on the top step of the stairs there, and he was just wagging his tail, wanting to go in the house. No house to go into. Tonight, Brown is sleeping elsewhere. After a day salvaging what he could, he says he was one of the lucky ones. Yeah, I'm still here. It's all stuff that can be replaced, so could be worse. I don't know. <laughs> Jake Dunlow owned a house and six mobile homes on this land. He lost everything. It just hurts. So I didn't have any insurance on nothing. Despite his hardships, he knows there is something bigger at hand. Tell me that God was looking out for it. How else can you explain what the tornado didn't damage? The people that was home in their trailer was three families, and them three trailers is standing. Yeah, just amazing. We're told 75 homes were either damaged or destroyed in the county. Relief operations have already started to arrive and also arriving tomorrow morning, the governor, Beverly Perdue, to tour the damage here in Bertie. Now back to you guys.